Hey, what's up? It's always me, Johnny, and welcome to my new video. Today, we're gonna see how to use the iPhone keyboard properly. And we're gonna see also some hidden feature that probably you didn't already know. So let's start with the video and let's go into notes so I can show you the keyboard. And this is a standard iPhone keyboard. And the first feature that you probably didn't know is when you write anything like this, so just random letters, you can move through your text by just holding the space button right here. And then you can move your cursor wherever you want with precision like this. So I, can, I will go here, for example, and then I can start writing again. This is a very, very useful feature and it is basically a trackpad. So you can use your spacebar as a trackpad like this. Very, very cool. Then if you have to write something maybe in some other languages or maybe some special words, some special accent and special characters, you can just find it by holding any key on the keyboard. For example, I can hold the A key and then you can find all the characters and symbols with this letter inside. Or maybe I can hold any symbols right here. For example, I can press here and I can see all the money value symbols, so euros, dollars, yen, and whatever you want right here. I can press and hold pretty much any symbols, any letters that can have like different characters and different symbols. This is very useful if you can find any special characters. Then let's talk about text replacement. So let me show you what it is. Let's go into settings, let's go into general, and then let's find keyboard. Then you will find text replacement right here and then there is already a text saved right here. And the shortcut is OMW and the phrase it is on my way. So let's go here and then let's type OMW. And then you will find already on my way right here. Then I hit space and there is on my way. You can add, of course, different shortcut, different text replacement. For example, I can type subscribe to my YouTube channel. And then the shortcut could be just YT, just go hit save. And then when I will type YT, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Very, very useful, especially if you want to save maybe your address, for example, or maybe your details like email, name, everything that you need on the way. So you can just type a shortcut and then the text replacement will do the rest. Very, very useful. Another very cool feature that I always loved from iPhone, it is the shake your iPhone to undo. So you can just type anything like this and then you can just shake and then it will ask to undo the last typing and you can just hit undo and then it will go back to the previous text. I can write by like this, then shake undo and then it will just delete a very, very cool and very, very fast feature to use when you're writing. Then you probably didn't notice, but here in the left corner, I have a little icon and this is used to change keyboard. For example, I have different languages and right here you can see it English. And of course I have Italian because I am Italian. And then I can also add some different keyboard. And here I have Gboard that I am testing for a few weeks right now and see if it's better than the iPhone keyboard. If you want to know the difference between iPhone keyboard and Gboard, let me know down below in the comments. And also you can check the video right here. Maybe you haven't seen on my channel, just check the video. So this is very convenient if like me, you are like multilingual and you have to use different keyboards and it is very fast to switch because right now I am in English, in the English keyboard. Then if I tap on this, I can switch to another keyboard. For example, this is Gboard. And then if I hold here, I can just switch to Italian. Very, very useful and very, very quick way to switch from a keyboard to another. Then we have seen that you can hold your spacebar and then use it as a trackpad to move your cursor around the text, whatever you want. But if you want to do it with your finger, there is one way to do anything. And it is one tap to select where you want the cursor in the text. Two tap and I can select this word right here. Then if you tap three times, it will select the entire paragraph. And this is a quick way to maybe copy and paste something 
into your note, for example, but it is always useful to know how to move inside your text. Then if you want to go like in a specific position with the cursor, you have to just tap and hold the magnifier where it comes out and then you can move your cursor within the text. Then another cool feature, it is the pinch to copy your text and then push to paste. And let me show you how it works. So for example, let's select this and then I can just pinch this text and you can see it says copy. And then if I go down below right here, I can just push and just paste whatever I copied. It's a very, very cool feature. And this one, it is an idem gem in my opinion, because if I just pinch this right here, it is it says nothing to, to copy right now because I don't have any text selected. But for example, if I pinch this right here, I can just go into my MacBook right there and then just push into my trackpad on the MacBook and it will paste this text right here. Very, very useful. You can do the same thing if you have an iPad, for example, because it is working with the entire Apple ecosystem. Then a very useful feature that I use from time to time, but not every time because, I mean, it is not perfect, but it is a feature that you have and sometimes it comes very handy. So it is the dictation. So you can just press this little microphone right here and then it will just type whatever you says. As I said, it is not perfect, but sometimes it does the job. And as you can see, it works pretty fine. Anyway, for this video, that was pretty much it. Let me know down below in the comments if you didn't know some of this feature and let me know down below also if you know some other hidden feature that I can use every day on my iPhone. And also you can just share it with all the people watching the video. Anyway, if you did like this video, just hit a like button down below and also subscribe if you haven't already. So you can stay updated for every video that I upload. They could be interesting like this one. As always, thank you for watching my video and I will see you in my next one. Bye for now.